Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Hafner, and welcome to Sports Psych in a Minute. This week I want to talk about what I think of as the five pillars for success in our riding. But rather than thinking of them as pillars, as I used to, now I think about them more as checkpoints along the way. We all know that every year we have to do a safety inspection on our car, and a lot of that is just to make sure that the car is operating in a way that's going to keep us safe, and we're going to be able to get where we want to when we need to get there. Just like that, these five checkpoints for ourselves and our riding are the kinds of things that are going to help to keep us safe, keep us moving forward and towards our goals, and help us to enjoy and progress in our riding. The five things are our motivations, our goals, our resources, risk, and the relationships that we have surrounding us in our riding. In the coming weeks, I'm going to take each one of these checkpoints and talk about it more in depth. But for now, what I just want to point out is the importance of balance amongst all of these things. For example, if we're really highly motivated and we have really high and lofty goals for ourselves, but we don't have resources like time or equipment or the horses that we need to get there, we're going to run into situations which are particularly frustrating. Similarly, if we took about our motivation and our motivation is just, I love to hang around horses and we have really, really high goals, one of the things that we might run into is lacking the motivation to do the hard work and be consistent enough to develop the skills and strength and knowledge that's going to get us to our goals. So take some time and sit back and reflect on what are your motivations for your riding? What are your goals for yourself and your horse? What are the resources that you have available to you? How much risk are you really willing to accept in your riding? And what relationships do you have supporting you? And take a look at the balance of all of those different factors. This has been Sports Psych in a Minute. We'll see you next week.